Hi guys, today we will compare a 4 inch reflector telescope and an 8 inch Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. Now, if you know even a little bit about telescopes, you already know that an 8 inch telescope will perform better. But this comparison video might be helpful for people who are considering buying a telescope for the first time. The 4 inch telescope I have here is the Celestron StarSense 114 LT and the 8 inch telescope is Celestron Nexstar 8SE. The StarSense 114 LT is a reflector type telescope and it has an aperture of 114 mm around 4.5 inches. Its focal length is 1000 mm and its focal ratio is 9. The next star 8SE is a Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. Also, they are known as a compound telescope. If you don't know what aperture, focal length and different types of telescopes are, then check out this playlist on the channel. The next star 8SE has an aperture of 203 mm around 8 inches. Its focal length is 2000 mm and its focal ratio is 10. The star sense has 1000 mm focal length, so with the star sense you will get wider field of view, which means you will see more sky area through the eyepiece. Also, you will get lower magnification with the star sense compared to Nexstar 8SE. The 8SE telescope has a longer focal length, so it can achieve more magnification than the star sense 114 LT telescope. Let's see the images taken by these telescopes side by side. Here is a moon through both the telescopes. With 25mm eyepiece, the star sense will show you the moon and the sky around it. This is because of the shorter focal length and wider field of view. However, when you use the same 25mm eyepiece with the Nexstar 8SE, which has a higher focal length, you will get higher magnification and more details of the moon. And if it's a full moon, you will not be able to fit the complete moon in the 8SE's field of view. Now, with star sense, when you look at an object further than the moon, such as Jupiter, because of its lower focal length and wide angle view, Jupiter will look very tiny. Also, the aperture of this telescope is 4.5 inches and Jupiter will look slightly dimmer compared to 8SE. Now, with the 8SE, when you look at Jupiter, because of the higher focal length, it will look bigger compared to Star Sense 114 LT. And as the 8SE has a bigger aperture, it will also collect more light and that's why the object will look slightly brighter through 8SE. With 2x Barlow lens, you can get much better views of Jupiter with Nexstar 8SE. The same thing is with Saturn. With Star Sense 114 LT, Saturn looks very tiny and with 2x digital zoom, you can see the rings around the planet. With Nexstar 8SC, you can see Saturn in more detail. You can see there is a clear distinction between the rings and the planet. With 2x digital zoom, you can see slightly more details of Saturn with Nexstar 8SE. Now one more part, many of you might be wondering why StarSense 114 LT has such a fuzzy image of Jupiter and Saturn. This is because StarSense 114 LT has a small aperture and it uses spherical mirrors. The spherical mirror does not focus light at one single point. It focuses light on different points. So you see those spherical aberrations. On the other hand, 8SE has very superior optics and it also has coatings that make sure that maximum light passes through the telescope. The next star 8SE is a Schmidt Cassegrain telescope and most SCT telescopes use a combination of parabolic and spherical mirrors. It also has a corrector plate at the front which corrects the aberrations caused by spherical mirrors. The corrector plate is made of special type of glass 
and it acts as a lens to compensate for the spherical aberrations. It bends the incoming light rays before they hit the mirror to converge more precisely at one single point. This results in cleaner, sharper images across the entire field of view. So, as mentioned earlier, the 8SE gives brighter and more detailed views compared to StarSense 114 LT telescope. One more thing many people are confused about is whether they should get a manual or computerized telescope. The StarSense is a manual telescope and the 8SE is a computerized go-to telescope. Now with StarSense, if you focus on Saturn and do not move the telescope, you can see how quickly Saturn moves to the edge of the field of view. This is because of Earth's rotation. However, with the next star 8SE, if I focus on Saturn, it keeps Saturn in the field of view all the time. This is because the computerized telescopes move with the object on which it is focused on. This makes observing and capturing images of objects very easy and you will get more high quality images of an object. In the case of manual telescopes, you will have to adjust the telescope very frequently. Also, distant objects will move quickly to the edge of the field of view. If you are observing nearby planets and the moon, then planetary astrophotography can be done with manual telescopes. If you want to capture deep space objects like Andromeda galaxy, it will move to the edge of the field of view very quickly. So deep space long exposure astrophotography with manual telescopes is almost impossible. That's why you need a good computerized equatorial mount for deep space astrophotography. The computerized equatorial mounts will keep those objects in the field of view for longer duration. Now this was more of a comparison between big and a small aperture telescopes. This doesn't mean StarSense 114 LT is a bad telescope. It is a good telescope for extreme beginners. The 8SE on the other hand is for the people who are serious about astronomy. So if you are a beginner and on a very tight budget, then go with the StarSense 114 LT or other similar telescopes. If you have a little more budget, then go with the StarSense DX130AZ telescope. The StarSense app is superb and makes it fun to explore the night sky, which is perfect for beginners. If you want a bigger aperture for less money, then Dobsonian telescopes are the best and StarSense series has Dobsonian telescopes as well. Though Dobsonian telescopes are the best, the biggest issue with these telescopes are their weight and portability. So if you do not have any issue with that, just go for the Dobsonian telescope. Celestron recently added tabletop Dobsonian models in the StarSense series, which is just the lighter version of the Dobsonian telescopes. You should also check them out. Watch this video to learn more about Dobsonian telescopes. If you are serious and budget is not an issue, then you will never regret buying Nexstar 8SE or even the smaller version, the Nexstar 6SE will be a good choice. I hope you enjoyed this short comparison video. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content.